Hey gang, this is Chris Jamieson at Les Mills. We've got a, a 21 day challenge hover test. This is a graduated hover test. So the whole thing to pass it is three minutes long. There's little stages. I want you to get ready and I'm just gonna take you through it and I'll do it with you. Put my money where the mouth is, so to speak. So first of all, get a stopwatch or some sort of timer or you can just actually go along with this YouTube clip. So get yourself set up first of all. Hips on the ground, tuck your toes under, get your elbows underneath your shoulders ready to start. And we're gonna come up in a moment into a hover position. So a nice straight body. We'll get the watch underway and we're off. So in the first minute, so let's just do a quick check. First of all, just try and slightly open your chest so that your eyes are focused on your thumbs, your legs are straight, and again, those elbows underneath the shoulders. Most of your weight should really be coming down just in front of your elbow on your forearm. So just a little double check that you're not starting to sag through the back like this with the backside in the air. Your abs engaged, keeping that back nice and flat and nice and strong. Uh, make sure your quads are actually uh, engaged as well. So this is, um, there may be a couple of little verbal typos that happen during this, seeing as we're doing it in one take. So again, just make sure you're comfortable there. Uh, I know some of you are going to want to start looking down to see what's going on down there like that. Look what happens to my back as soon as I do that. So try and keep your eyes on the thumbs. All right, so we've just come up to hit a minute. Now what we're going to do is shift your weight onto one side and pick one elbow off the ground, one arm off the ground. So in this position, you'll need to engage your quads just a little bit more to stop your body from twisting. 15 seconds now. Onto the other side. All right, so try and hold here. What I want you to do is make sure there's no twisting and turning. So almost there, 25 seconds, up to the 30. Come down and hold still here. Take one leg off the ground. Now that leg you've got off the deck, you're gonna need to engage it a little bit. You'll feel your butt working. 40, a few more seconds here. Three, two, one, change side. And we're holding up in this position here. Again, just make sure that your abs are on so your back doesn't have a chance to sag. All right, here comes your combo move. You're going to alternate one arm and the opposite leg. Move now. All right, so now we've got one foot and one hand off the deck. Again, try to make sure there's none of this kind of going on and you're actually nice and level with your hips. Ready to change? Go. Other side. One hand, one foot. This is taking us up with two minutes 20, or yep, two minutes 20. We're just getting to the point of our little finisher. So three seconds, two seconds, one second, everything back on the deck and just into a hover. So when you're in this position, all we've got to do now is just sit out the clock. So again, a little body check. Make sure that your back isn't sagging, none of this. Don't let your butt up in the air. Bring it down so you're in nice one line. Open the chest up, eyes on the thumbs. In the final five seconds, I want you to stay with me if you can. So three, two, one, and you're done. Well done.